HP Discover here from Las Vegas. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News, and we're talking with Ellie Marsh from HP uh, Enterprise Services. Right. We're going to be talking about HP Helion, which was just introduced uh, no, maybe a month ago, correct? Correct. Yes. May 7th we launched. So, Ellie, what is HP Helion? HP Helion is a portfolio of cloud services that makes it easy for our customers to build, manage, and consume in a hybrid IT environment. I, I've heard that, that HP uh, Helion is really could become the very fabric of an organization. Can you speak to that a little bit? That's correct. We like to think that Helion goes beyond the cloud. So it's not just about building and manage um, and consuming the cloud, but it's actually going into the fabric of your enterprise and looking at your hybrid delivery model so that you're really looking at moving forward and, and the next generation after cloud. Mm -hmm. Well, HP has been very active in cloud products for, for several years. We have. We've yeah. been doing uh, managed cloud services and we've been building clouds um, for a number of years. We have a really strong foundation in cloud system enterprise as well as cloud system automation um, and our services to consume, what we've been doing um, for several years has been very successful, but this portfolio really brings the, um, the entire spectrum of services to our clients, shows a better end-to-end, uh, -end, a great value proposition for clients, and uh, a great roadmap as they move forward. You know, and, and of course, it, it all begins with, with OpenStack, with that open source project. That's right. OpenStack is a fantastic open delivery environment that will let you go from platform to platform seamlessly. So you would be able to, for example, have your private cloud. You might need to burst because of um, some business changes, uh, maybe an acquisition, seasonal demand, a seasonal demand. Like that, yeah. And that would allow you to burst to, to uh, a public cloud, um, you know, and then go back to your private cloud. So it's a seamless environment. And then we have our indemnification program, which is fantastic. So if you're running on OpenStack and you're a developer that's developed on OpenStack, then you're protected from that third party because you've developed on our OpenStack platform with that indemnification program. Yeah, well, uh, most organizations have a, have, a, have a responsibility to keep operations running, and even though there's a, a lot of advances that may be occurring, HP provides kind of the balance to protect the, uh, the essential services that have to keep, keep going. That's right, that's yeah. right. Um, security is still the number one concern and demand from our, our clients and from the market when they look at cloud, a lot of concerns on security. And so we help them with those concerns. We, we have a 5.9 availability. We have private cloud, we have virtual private cloud. And beyond security, you've also got the governance and you've got data sovereignty. And so we allow our customers to base in different locations. Customers can actually choose which location they would like to be in for their virtual private cloud so that they can run their data um, in their local location. So these are examples of professional services that HP would uh, would be providing. Are there other things that HP brings as a part of the Helion's uh, cloud offering? Right, so we do offer professional services, which we generally think of the advice, the, the setting up the roadmap, looking at return on investment, and looking at what the strategy will be um, in their cloud in their cloud platform, um, we offer everything from uh, a build your own. So you could you could build your own cloud with private cloud. You could manage it with our cloud system automation. But why not let HP do it for you? <laughs> so we can manage it for you, and you can even get more for your money. Exactly. Now there, there's also a development platform from an app standpoint, correct? Right. On the on the OpenStack platform, um, we have a, a development platform where our our develop developers can use that platform. So how long does it take to meet with a client and begin this tailoring process uh, until uh, it's actually implemented? Is this a matter of months or right. weeks? You know, all clients are on a, a different journey, uh, a different place in their journey um, to implementing cloud or to implementing Hel Helion. So, um, you know, we could look at something quickly and say, hey, you need a, um, maybe you need a test dev environment. And that can be done in, in, you know, minutes, hours, you know, we could set that up quickly. If you want, you, but you really want to look at your whole IT strategy and look at where is your entire environment going and set up a strategy in that environment. And the cloud and HP Helion does let you do that, um, you know, in, in months versus years or, or, or days for, you know, for a particular product. Right, right. Now, I understand that uh, HP Helion is billed as, as a hybrid environment. What, does that mean a hybrid between public and private, or what does that mean? 
So we do support a hybrid delivery environment, and the hybrid really goes beyond just the cloud. So this is your traditional environment, this is your cloud environment, and this is doing it in-house, or this is doing it outsourced, and this can be doing it with different vendors. So a hybrid delivery environment really looks at all the different environments that you're going to have in your IT infrastructure, because you're going to have all of that. Mm -hmm. So it, it sounds like that's, that's just another way of saying portability that's right. guaranteed over time. Correct, yes. correct. So yeah. what you want is that portability so that it makes it easier to move from your traditional environment to your cloud environment. And that's where we get into HP Helion as the fabric of the enterprise. Exactly. And HP is very, very serious. A, a billion dollars of it. A billion dollars. We're excited. Yes. We are very excited about that. Um, making lots of investments in our cloud data centers. Um, we, uh, of course, can implement virtual, we can implement private cloud at um, a client's data center at one of our 80 data centers. We can also um, implement at a third party data center. But we have 22 uh, leveraged uh, cloud environments where we're implementing OpenStack, which will um, provide a, a really great portability between environments. What about uh, a worldwide perspective where you have data that's uh, actually uh, from uh, from an administrative or security standpoint, needs to be in a particular geography right. uh, for, for privacy rules and so forth. How do you handle that? Well, the data data sovereignty is a big issue, particularly with our government clients. That was a phrase I was searching um, for. Data sovereignty, right? <laughs> um, particularly with our government clients, uh -huh. um, also with financial institutions. Well, with any with any clients, um, and so being able to have a regionalized data center and being able to choose, and that's one of the differentiators that that HP has. So when you put your when people talk about the cloud. Um, sometimes they imagine their data just disappearing, um, and you don't know where it is. And, and you know that's not working for for governance or for audits. Absolutely. You have to know yes. where your data is residing, and so we provide those regionalized data centers so that when you're putting it in a cloud, you can also identify and even audit where your data is. What about uh, redundancy or availability concerns? Right. So our um, again, security is one of the major concerns. Um, certainly, increased complexities um, with cyber attacks. Um, complete, uh, increased complexities and in just the environment of what's going on in the world. Um, so we do offer five nines. We've got complete redundancy across our data centers. You know, our data centers, we've been running for uh, over 50 years, and we provide that same security in our cloud environments. Excellent. You know, one of the things I meant to ask early on was was just the name Helion. Where did that come from? Helion's fun. It actually means a doubly positively charged ion. Um, it's also linked to um, Helios, who's a sun god, and is linked to the Big Bang Theory. So we think that's fun. Exactly. Um, it's forward-facing. It's, and, and um, it's top exciting. And a top-rated TV show besides. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> where, uh, where can people go for more information about HP Helios? Well, I would welcome, if you've got a HP representative now, talk to your uh, talk to your representative, your account manager, your sales representative, or go to hp.com slash Helion and um, get started. We'll, we'll start you off with probably professional services, look at some ROI analysis, and start helping. We've got a number of workshops that, you know, that range from, you know, a couple of days to a couple of months, wherever you are on your cloud journey, um, we can help position your roadmap. Excellent. Ellie, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, you guys are kind of wrapping up the show here. Have a good trip home. Thank you, Andy. Right, thank you. Thanks to you folks for joining us as well. We've got a couple more interviews coming up here at HP Discover in Las Vegas. Live streaming of SDR news coverage at HP Discover has been made possible by Intel Corporation. Check out Intel Open Port IT, where you can connect with your peers at Intel on industry topics, best practices, strategies, and more. And by Microsoft, where HP and Microsoft are working together, combining their respective strengths to deliver innovative technologies to help advance your business.